Hi everyone on YouTube, welcome back to Clutch Situation. Today I have for you a pencil that was sent to me by a viewer of the channel. Ricky from El Paso, Texas has an anime shop called Robogato, and this is one of the pencils that Ricky sent to me. Today we're going to be reviewing the Zebra New Spiral Mechanical Pencil. And what I like about this pencil, and it's what I like about a lot of Japanese mechanical pencils, is that there is an active engineering market happening around writing utensils in Japan. And I'm not going to say that that doesn't happen in the United States or other parts of the world, but you know how, like, for a lot of products, there's a regular product development cycle where if a product is popular, they're continually coming out with new things that they think the public will find interesting and they'll be able to sell. Well, I just don't really feel that happening much at all for manufacturers in the United States, um, other than maybe what you can get off of Kickstarter. Uh, Kickstarter is sort of what is driving all of the development within me mechanical pencils currently, at least in the United States and in various other places uh, in Europe and throughout the world. But Japan is a place where there is active work on developing new mechanical pencils, and the Zebra New Spiral is an example of that. And so here's the packaging that the New Spiral came in, and... This is from Robogata's shop, and so you can see the cost of the pencil there. Remember that there are import fees that are uh, present on all these things. What I find really interesting about this package, in addition for it to being this very colorful um, package that's going to sell the product that they tend to have on writing instruments in Japan, is that it says, produced by Professor Noro of Waseda University. And you go to the back... And there's all sorts of graphs and charts showing you how the new spiral is an awesome writing experience compared to other mechanical pencils. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, in preparation for this video around November, when I first received this package, I had done some uh, uh, translation, or well, I had not done the translating a family member of mine knows someone who knows Japanese, and so they did a little bit of translating, but unfortunately I couldn't find that translation in preparation for this video. And so you may be wondering, why not just wait? Well, when somebody sends me a mechanical pencil uh, because they're a fan of the channel, I sort of feel like there needs to be a higher priority for someone who's going to take the money and the time and the effort to send me something. And so the long and short of it, the gist of it from what I remember from those translations that were done in November, is that all of these graphs are explaining how the new spiral reduces hand fatigue over time. And so this, this graph I'm pretty sure is a graph of hand fatigue and that there's less hand fatigue with the new spiral than other models because the marketing on this pencil, the new spiral is intended to be a ergonomic mechanical pencil and you have a soft gel grip. Um, not as grippy perhaps as the Uni Alpha Gel, but it is clearly designed to be part of this comfort grip, um, feature that many Japanese manufacturers are putting on various pencils. And so, you know, there's something out there for everybody. And for some people, comfort uh, for long writing experiences is important to them. And the new spiral is designed to target that market. And so let's just go ahead and dive right into the review. Today, we will be reviewing the Zebra New Spiral spiral because we have this interesting spiral like design as i'm writing i just want to mention to you that the new spiral also comes in ballpoint pen variants as, as many of these writing utensil products often do and you can get them in a wide variety of different colors whether ballpoint pens or mechanical pencils so this one is kind of a sky blue let's start off with what should be the best part of the new spiral the writing experience. I'm going to rate it a good. And I want to remind you that my ratings are always personal. It's going to vary by individual. I definitely enjoy writing with the new spiral. Okay. Um, thicker grips are not my thing. And anybody who watches the channel knows that that's just my personal preference. I don't like thicker grips. I do like the material on the grip for the new spiral. It's not quite as squishy as the Uni Alpha Gel, but the Uni Alpha Gel arguably is so squishy that some people may not prefer that. There's a nice balance here of definitely getting a gel-like grip without it being uh, too squishy and uh, maybe losing a little bit of control over the writing experience. And so for me, writing experience, good. I can definitely see what that professor, um, Professor Noro at Waseda University was going for. Balance point for this pencil 
Let's see if we can get it. It's going to be right about, come on, there we go, right about where the middle is. And so for a lot of people, that balance point makes a huge difference in terms of where the weight of the pencil is. For me, I think I tend to prefer pencils that are either weighted evenly or more weighted towards the tip, depending upon the pencil itself. Okay. What about quality? Well, this is nearly an entirely plastic mechanical pencil, but I'm going to give it a little bit of a boost because the folks at Zebra, being a utensil manufacturing company, have a, blast, have a brass clutch in this, which we all know is a hallmark of a more quality mechanism piece within a mechanical pencil. It's going to reduce the lead dust that can result in jams and uh, brass is at a uh, point on the triboelectric series where it does not electrostatically attract pencil dust as much as a plastic would. And so that's a benefit on the quality right there. So I'm giving a little bump to OK+. Plus. Features. Well, pretty bare bones. Once again, I'm going to go with OK Plus here, but the plus is largely going to be as a result of the ergonomic design. Pretty sturdy pocket clip for a plastic pocket clip. Very basic zebra eraser. Zebra erasers are not anything to write home about. Okay, I mean, it's better to have an eraser than not have an eraser, of course, but it's not something that we would highlight as like a key aspect of the feature of this pencil. Pretty effectively costed. Uh, so I found that if you don't live in El Paso, Texas and can't go to Robogato, Amazon is probably going to be your best bet. We're looking at five bucks to nine bucks. Okay, so that's going to be in my cheap to moderate range for a mechanical pencil. So, you know, I... I'd say that's pretty cost effective given what it is. You know, I would tend to recommend this pencil to people if you're looking for something, especially if you're looking for a grip that suits your taste and maybe you can find a new spiral and you don't want to have to pay as much as you would for Uni uh, Alpha Gel, which usually is a little bit more expensive than this pencil. So from a saving of money perspective, Zebra New Spiral would be a good choice for you. Let's just do a click, click test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So despite that brass clutch, we're still getting about a centimeter of extension with 10 clicks. Not as much fine of control on an economy mechanical pencil with this, even with a brass clutch. So if the control of the click of the knock matters to you, that's something that you're going to want to uh, uh, keep in mind. You know, one thing that I also want to say about this, if you look at the lead sleeve of this, it's more of sort of a compromise between a classic conical lead sleeve and a hypodermic drafting lead sleeve. And so I would argue that even with 0.5 millimeter lead, the new spiral is quasi pocket safe. And so that might be an additional feature that might be interesting for some people. And so I really appreciate Robogato sending me the Zebra New Spiral for review. You can see I put some stickers on this page for the review that were also sent with it. And so I think it's always great that we're extending out and, uh, uh, the whole positive purpose of the internet should be for people with similar interests to connect to each other, and that rarely, it seems, if ever works out. And so when it does, I think that that's something that should be celebrated. And so shout out to Robogato. Thanks so much for sending me all this great pencil swag from your anime shop, as well as the stickers. Uh, and so, yeah, happy celebration. And so I hope everybody is having a great day. This is a Clutch Situation. I'll have more mechanical pencils coming at you over time. I'm going to be doing a review sometime soon of the entire Stettler 925 series. I have a review coming up for the Faber-Castell TK Fine Vario. And then as we approach 4,000 subscribers, of course, whenever we reach a subscriber milestone, I'll hit you up with something special and interesting. I guess before we go, one quick thing. I'm continuing to add to my uh, Pentel Sharp series collection, and so this is a metallic red, sort of a cherry red, that uh, has been around for a little bit, um, that is uh, usually 
Uh, you can order in a three pack, but people also have them individually. They break open the blister packs and take out the individuals. So there's been like a metallic sky blue, metallic lime green, and metallic cherry red pack that's been floating around and people break them apart. Well, I ordered the cherry red because it can be difficult to get uh, Pentel Sharp Series pencils in red colors. Uh, and so, yeah, I just wanted to share that sort of at the tail end of this video. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for finding your way to the channel. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and have a great day.